What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys haven't seen too many Deli Bird videos today, but yeah, here's another one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Merry Christmas to all of my viewers who celebrate it. Happy Holidays to everyone else who is not observing it today. Today, I'm going to be trying out this Deli Bird team that I built in five seconds because I said, hey, what do the viewers want on Christmas? Deli Bird teams. Yeah, of course. So Deli Bird has the ability Hustle, which if you don't know how it works, the Pokemon's attack is boosted by 50% but the accuracy is 80%. That's actually really, really bad in most cases, um, especially with Deli Bird, where its attack isn't even worth the risk. However, when you Dynamax, Deli Bird can actually deal some significant damage since it's impossible for moves to miss. We've seen some Hustle Pokemon find usage before, like Durant or Dracozolt. So yeah, we're gonna be using that. Of course, we do have a plan to fall back on. We are using Rapid Strike, Urshifu, Aqua Jet, Gimmick into Colossal. Either you get Santa coming into your house or you get Cole in your stocking. It's, it's one or the other. But Fairy's going to be helping out Santa's little helper here. We have Rillaboom, the Christmas Monkey, and we have the North Star, Regieleki. Uh, shout out to Christmas Monkey. He is my favorite Christmas myth. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And yeah, let's let's do it. Now, of course, I have not tested this team at all yet. <laughs> Detect is not available. Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. Let me get Protect. And yes, we are Precipice Blades, Deli Bird. Okay. And yes, we are running present, and that's just because Max Strike could be useful, and I want to click present at some point on Christmas Day. You know, give, give the gift of Deli Bird. You're not giving the gift of Deli Bird, are you giving gifts at all? Let's go ahead and get into it. GLHF. So, um... They're actually relatively Deli Bird weak here. I might just lead off that way. I can probably go Deli Bird, Clefairy, and find some... Decent success. Colossal is really, really slow without the boost, so I might even be able to use him without setting off weakness policy if need be. So if I go Deli Bird on lead, I have to deal with a couple of things, likely a fake out, but I think it's worth the risk. We'll go Deli Bird, Clefairy. I'll bring my Urshifu in the back. It seems really good in this game. I think my last Pokemon's going to have to be Colossal if everything goes downhill. But let's do it. Let's do it. I'm probably not going to win any games today. I just really want to use the Christmas Monkey. Deli Bird and Colossal, they can they can go do something somewhere else. Christmas Monkey, that's that's what today is. It's the Christmas Monkey Day. I got uh I got some cool gifts. My uh honestly, I think the coolest gift I got today was it was really thoughtful. Uh, my sister's boyfriend, she's been dating him for a couple of years, and he's really into gaming. He knows I have a YouTube channel. What he did is he took my channel art, he lifted it from my channel, and got me this giant mat that I can use as like a mouse pad. And it's, it's really cool. I'll put a picture on screen. Like, it was, it was probably one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever gotten. But yeah, I, I think it was really cool. Um, I got a robe. Honestly, I really needed a robe. Now I don't have to wear clothes ever again around the house. It's it's a complete optional thing now. Um, my, <laughs> my mom who got me the robe does not know what pain she's going to put my roommates through when I just walk out wearing nothing but a robe. Dang, they're really taking their time here. They're really taking their time. Oh, shout out to all my Hispanic viewers who celebrated Christmas yesterday and are doing absolutely nothing today. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm able to record. <laughs> um, like in Mexico, it's tradition to celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve up until midnight. And then you do some drinking at midnight and then say your prayers. Good night. See you. You know, nothing on Christmas Day. Completely optional. Now, I know for a fact they're going to go ahead and trick room up on me. So... <laughs> I have a couple of options. I mean, I could just... Hmm. They should fake out the Clefairy. And go for the Trick Room. So I can get in my Colossal. He's actually going to do a decent amount of damage. Especially if I go for Meteor Beam. Hold on, let me get in Colossal here. And I'll go for the Protect. Assuming that they're going to go ahead and go for Trick Room. Fake Tears. And, ooh, they're going for something else there. Um... Lasso isn't too threatened. Let me just Meteor Beam into the Porygon 2. And... Dang, I really don't want to stay in here. I suppose I can Moonblast and try to get a special attack drop. Because, I, I, I mean, I go for the double protect. I don't want to follow me, though. I'll just go for the double. So they give me a full incense. I don't mind that. They go for the Trick Room? Okay. Let me Meteor Beam and Helping Hand that. I want to get rid of Porygon soon as possible and it should do a decent amount of damage i'm playing this super super strangely <laughs> this is a very strange way to play this 
Now, Porygon should be slower than me, of course, and they're going to Dynamax, assuming a fake tier is coming out. Oh, onto the Clefairy. I'm fine with that. I land this, do a solid chunk, to be honest. Um, I can get in my Urshifu, but it's not really worth attacking my own Colossal right now. I think my best play is to protect the Urshifu and Dynamax the Colossal. Or maybe I can win in the endgame with Delibird. <laughs> it's going to be super awkward if I do. Um, I can't Dynamax the Bird here. I think I get the most out of the Max Rockfall play, going for a Detect here. Uh, I could preserve my Sash by switching out, but I think it's fine if I don't. Deli Bird's just going to have to land a hit on Rillaboom. Go for Spirit Break, likely a double. Yep. They don't do too much, which is great. I'm going to get more damage off here. And they have the rocks up on their side of the field for the rest of the game. I should be able to knock out this Porygon now. Um, and I'll, I'll, I won't even go for the Max Flare. I get more out of Max Rockfall, just because I keep the sand up. And I think my play is to... I want to Detect again. Because I think that I get the most out of Urshifu, but I should just switch in Delibird and Sack. Wow, Delibird takes a lot from that. <laughs> so I go for the Hailstorm. I'm just going to go ahead and remove their Porygon too, which is actually really huge for me. It's really huge. Ooh, hold on. They're going to be able to recover here. Oh, I just realized I'm not G-Max. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not G-Max. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, you never saw that. Colossal. G-Max, you never saw that. You're dumb. I'm not dumb. You're dumb. Let me see if I can get a KO with Porygon here. Let's go for the present. <laughs> it's such a bad play. Oh my god, why am I an idiot? <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Moxie boosted doing the Moxie boosted thing. Um, I'm hoping they're choice banded and they're within range here. I, I should never go for the Protect. I should always go for the Heat Wave here, and that's purely because um, if they're not Choice Banded, I, I lose. Or if they're if they're not Choice Banded and they target my Urshifu, I, I already lose. So we're going to close combat. Hope for the best. I can't activate my Steam Engine because the full Incense is just going to make that awful. Dang, that would have been... Oh, no. All right. God tier play. God tier play. Good game. Good game. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, all right. That would have gone a lot better if I was G-Max freaking Colossal. Why am I so dumb? All right. So we're facing... Uh, not Deadly Bird. We're facing Regigigas Weezing. Um, and Regigigas Weezing really shuts down this ability-based team. Shuts it down really hard. I can get in Regieleki on lead, and that actually wouldn't be awful. And that's just because it'll let me get up a screen. And I think my play is to lead off Urshifu, but just switch in Colossal to eat the first attack, which Colossal takes really well, just because Colossal is Colossal. Um, and I think I bring Clefairy every single time. So it's two supports, Urshifu and Colossal, which doesn't sound fun. Yep, they go Regigigas Weezing. My play here is to go ahead and get up a Reflect and immediately switch out into Colossal to eat the hit. They target into Regieleki, I'd actually be pretty happy about that. Because they should always go for Max Strike here. There's no reason to go for anything else. Maybe a Max Quake into Regieleki, but that wouldn't be the end of the world. Max Strike. It's fine. Colossal. Um, I can activate my Weakness Policy. It just wouldn't be ideal. <laughs> hmm. Really gotta find a way to remove that Weezing from the field. My, player, my play here is to get in the Clefairy. And go for a double protect. Behind Reflect, I, I can eat the hit. And the reason I'm not going for a um, follow me here is because I want to get my weakness policy off. And then next turn, I can follow me and go for the max move. So go for a max strike. Well played by them. And my priority here is getting rid of Weezing. It's all just helping hand my max move into them. With Friend Guard and the Reflect Up, I should eat any hit. And I really hope they gave me my Weakness Policy. They go for the Max Strike, that's fine, I eat that up. They should be going for a Taunt here. Yep, makes sense. I already got this off, though. That does 100%. That's hilarious. 
and their slow starts activated again. And I can go for my Aqua Jet play. And fun fact, Aqua Jet maximizes the speed. It doesn't increase it by a set amount. Oh no, it is. I thought it just maximized. Okay, that's actually an issue then. Um, let me go ahead and go for a... I don't want to get in my boy here. Let me go for the Moonblast and a G-Max Vocalith into Regieleki. I'm going to get rid of them. So dang, I'm an idiot. They've all switched out. Something's going to eat this. It's not going to eat it well, I think. It's their Urshifu. He will not enjoy that. All right. So I should outspeed the Urshifu. <laughs> dang it. Uh, this is actually really close. I don't want to check the speed. I'm just going to hope. Just going to hope. Let me go for another uh, Vocalith into the Urshifu. Just in case they double out into Regieleki or something. I mean, do I get anything from the sun? I guess I do. I guess I do get a lot from the sun. Let me Aqua Jet and go for the Max Flare. I should be faster at plus 2.5, right? Please, please, or Colossal. All right, good. <laughs> good, all right, I, I won this one. Sun's up and a Reflect is up. I could go for another Steam Engine play to make sure I outspeed the Regieleki. I'm just not certain if it's worth it. I think it is. Um, I should eat the hit since I'm behind a Reflect and the Sun's up. So I'll Aqua Jet again. And just go for the Heat Wave. Yeah. Aqua Jet one more time. And I connect my Heat Wave and get a double KO. Nice. GG. Well played. So no Deli Bird action that game. Some nice Colossal plays. Some nice Colossal plays. This time I, you know, remembered the G-Max form. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Why am I so bad at this game? All right, so um, you're going to be annoying. The Sableye is definitely going to be a nuisance in this match. And that's just because Sableye is able to um, completely ignore my speed by going for Quash. Um, however, on Lee, they're actually really, really weak to my Urshifu. They're really weak to this Urshifu form. And that's just because like their only answer to this is going to be well, Fairy, who can eat the hits really well, and they're Thunderous. I want to get a Reflect up. I think my play here is to lead Regieleki Urshifu because it threatens everything that wants to go for Fake Out onto my... or Not everything, but it threatens the Fake Out user on my Regieleki. Um, I can bring Colossal in the back. and Dang, I haven't been bringing the Christmas Monkey or Delibird too much. I really want to bring Delibird to this matchup. You know what? I don't even care if I lose. It is It is time for Delibird. It is time for Delibird. We'll bring you guys this back up, but I think it's time for Delibird. Oh yeah, it's gamer time. Um, I should be able to remove the Sableye. I want to get rid of Sableye above all else, because the, the Quash is going to mess me up. I can guarantee that. It could follow me. You know, it makes more sense just to go for the Hailstorm. I know that they could switch an Incineroar here, but you don't get anywhere by not taking risks. Yep, there's the Incineroar. The risk did not did not play off. It did not pay off at all. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, check this out. Check this out. They're going to be going for a Flare Blitz into my Deli Bird. I'm going to get in the Colossal. And I'm going to get in the Urshifu. If they, I'm going to end the Dynamax early. I just have to hope. Deli Bird's useless at this point. Go for the Flare Blitz, bro. You go for the Snarl. That is the worst thing that could have happened. Um, I mean, I can go for a Surging Strikes pretty safely into the Incineroar. I'm going to get burned. That's the issue. I think I might just Meteor Beam and switch in the Clefairy then. And just try to call them on the burn. Lagging Tail, Weakness Policy, that's fine. They have Will-O-Wisp on both these guys. All right. So they, sw they should switch out the Incineroar here. I'm just going to get rid of Sableye. In a helping hand. They go for a Snarl. Hopefully this does enough. It's neutral Meteor Beam, pretty much. Not quite. They usually don't carry Recover, though, so they should be within range of Moonblast. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just click it again onto Incineroar. I don't care. You might think I'm playing this awfully, but I think I'm playing this just awfully enough. You feel? Just awfully enough. All right, we've removed Sableye. Clefairy got the first kill of the game. That is an absolute shame. He is taunted, though, and the Landris can come in. I'm going to say that Landris is about to end my whole career. There's the Lando. I'm going to go for the Meteor Beam, and I'm going to sack the Clefairy because Urshifu is my only 
option to win. Hmm. I think it's a given that Incinera is about to come in. Go for the triple axe on the Thunders. I'm losing just because I wanted to bring Deadly Bird. <laughs> Deadly Bird's such a bad Pokemon. I just want to get one win with it in this video. All right, they should be switching out here, or they could go for a Rock Slide and absolutely destroy me. Oh, they missed the Rock Slide. Deadly Bird, do your thing. Okay, Deadly Bird, okay. <laughs> All right, good game. Good game. Did not work out for me. Maybe I should have brought the Christmas Monkey. Let's try this again. Um, this is 100% not a game I can win with Deadly Bird. This is uh, uh, just objectively one of the worst Deadly Bird games I could ask for. Um, but what I can do here is I can lead off Colossal Urshifu and sort of prank them into going for Lagging Tail into something I don't care about. We're we'll bring Deli Bird. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I don't care about winning right now. I care about using Deli Bird. Uh, I'll bring Regieleki too. Uh, but what I'm going to do is hope that they lead off with the... Hope they lead off with the Grimmsnarl. Lagging Tail is picking up in usage quite a bit if you haven't noticed by the last two matches. Um, but what I can do is I can prank them. <laughs> They'll go for the... Um, they go for the prankster switch thing into my colossal as I show them my my little guy here, my deli bird. Um, and I think I'll just go ahead and go for a. I think I'll just get damage off on this Orion. Hey, deli bird's got a present for you, or do you have a present for him? Oh, you do not. You do not have a present for deli bird. But dang, that did a lot. They go for the trick room. Hold up, is is it deli bird time? Is it deli bird time? Tell me. Tell me, viewers, is it Deli Bird time? He's got to have lagging tail, right? No, maybe it's just dual screens. Probably just light screen. Um, I want to go for triple axle in close combat and just hope that's enough to KO the Porygon, but I know for a fact it's not since they should recover here. Let me get in my Colossal. I don't want to lose my Sash. Go for the Tri-Attack. I eat that up. And I'm frozen. <laughs> of course I'm frozen. And the special attack drop. Yo, Deli Bird, get this man. Get this man. Get th That's respectable. I'd say that's a respectable amount of damage. Um, This has become a Deli Bird game. In a single turn, this has become a Deli Bird game. And that's disappointing, to say the least. I really don't want to switch Colossal. Because Heat Wave doesn't thaw him. I don't believe Max Flare thaws him either. I don't know what the interaction between max flare and frozen this is i know that like with flare blitz it would thaw him but i'm not running flare blitz let me just go for brave bird on the porygon and um i don't even think they're gonna touch my colossal for a minute i have to keep reggie lucky healthy i'll just switch in the urshifu you go for the tri attack i don't live <laughs> i do not live uh Dang, they're going to double into my Urshifu, aren't they? Meteor Beam, the Porygon, go for a detect. They should always double into Urshifu, I believe. That freeze is actually really huge. They do go for the double. Going to Meteor Beam to Porygon 2 one more time, switching the Regia Lecky. And I should go before the Porygon, too. If I manage to thaw out here, that's going to be huge. And we're frozen. All right. I think my play here is to try again. <laughs> Meteor Beam. Um, I'm going to get up a light screen. Maybe a Reflect. I think I get the most out of the Reflect. Dang, this, this freeze in the Colossal is huge, and I really can't deal with it, can I? Um, they're going to go for Trick Room again, most likely. And a spirit break. I think I get the most out of the reflect in the end. Need you to wake up, Colossal, or unfreeze, or something. Mm, thank you, friend. Thank you. We're, we're like... This is such a slow game, but a game I could have won a while ago. Yeah, Colossal's not going to thaw, is he? All right, good game. Yeah, I couldn't win at that point. The freeze in the Colossal is really unfortunate. Then again, I, I shouldn't expect to win bringing this thing. 
All right. There's a reason I'm on Telemundo Univision. This is like my dedicated, very low ladder account. <laughs> Sabado Gigantamax is mid ladder and Moxie Boosted BGC is meant to be high ladder, but I don't play enough to make it high ladder. <laughs> All right. Um, they really don't like the Colossal lead. Deli Bird's kind of useless here. Or Deli Bird could be good. It's just not, it's just not going to happen. Is hmm. You know what? Uh, I'm going to go Colossal on lead. Urshifu. No. Colossal. Urshifu. Clefairy could be really, really good in this matchup. I think Reggie Lucky's also pretty solid. We're going to do that. No Christmas Monkey. No Christmas Monkey, unfortunately. I am running Grassy Surge, right? I forgot to make this, this thing G-Max. Yeah, I did remember to do Grassy Surge. All right. So they end up going Amoongus and... Dustclops. I would assume here they would just Rage Powder. I don't want to Dynamax, though. Um, I could knock out the Amoongus, and I, I could win out of this situation. I'm going to try to cover the option that they might be Focus Ash. So I'm going to go for Max Flare, but I'm also going to go for Surging Strikes. Yep, they're Rage Powder. Hopefully they're not Focus Sash. Or if they are Focus Sash, hopefully I get them, you know? And I can actually activate my policy myself now. Since I have Sun Up. Um, I mean, Colossal still gets some value under Trick Room if I decide to go for a uh, Aqua Jet into myself and go for the Rocks. Because the Rock move is going to be really solid here. They have no resist to the Rock move, in fact. Yeah, they have no Rock resist. Th this team was extremely Colossal weak. I might not even have to, like... Yeah, I mean, I get my rock move off regardless. Against Tapu Fini. I think my play here is to Volkalith into Tapu Fini and get in the Clefairy to make sure I live. Yep, Colossal eats that up. That's hilarious. Um, and now I can just go for a second Volkalith and the follow me. And at plus two, I'm going to say this is going to KO. Oh, wait, I got a critical hit the first time. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, but it should do a solid amount. You go for the haze. That's fine. All right. Now, I'm still slower than Tapu Fini. And Trick Room is up, right? Yeah, I'm still slower. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Heat Wave. Because they should target Colossal every single time, I think. Maybe I just... Hmm. Can I win with Colossal in the end game? I think Regilecki is still going to be really good. I don't want to lose my Urshifu by them doubling into it. I think what's left in the back after this. I get more out of Reggie Alecki in the back. So we'll just go for the Meteor Beam, not expecting anything. And we'll go for a Surging Strikes into Tapu Fini. All right, yeah. So this should KO Tapu Fini with the Rain. Life Orb Tapu Fini is an interesting set. Get him my Reggie Alecki. And with the Rain up... I still have like two turns of rain to mess with here. Yeah, Guzzler does not like this matchup. I'm going to go ahead and get a light screen up and go for a detect. Might be able to get this one in the end. Go for Brick Break, Weakness Policy. Hopefully they attack into Urshifu. Now they go for the Regieleki. Um, I have to make kind of a tough call here kind of a tough call they should go for trick room i'm assuming that if you have weakness policy guzzlord you probably have protect on it i'm gonna go for surging strikes into dust clops and hope that they don't target enemy with guzzlord please go for protect and trick room 
tell me you went for Protect and Trick Room, because this, this should KO with the rain up. I think I lose anyways. Unless there's an Incinero in the back, then I win. Oh, they didn't protect, but it looks like I live. Maybe they missed a Draco. Or maybe I just barely survive a Draco. They go for Dark Pulse, and I just barely survive. I end up losing then. Oh, wait, no. I just win. Awesome. Close combat. <laughs> I forgot. I, I knocked out the Amoongus already. Why am I so bad at this game? I'm so bad at remembering Pokemon when I'm playing on Showdown. I remember how many Pokemon there are when it's not right in front of me for some reason. When I'm playing on Cartridge, I can remember the amount of Pokemon I've KO'd, but not on Showdown. I don't know why. How long have I been recording? 25 minutes. Let's get one more. We're going to go for just a Delibird game. I just want to use Delibird once and get a win. Uh, this is not the game I win with Delibird, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to do it anyways. Delibird's got to get one KO before this video ends. Clefairy in the back. Um, Rillaboom. Final option. Not terrible. I just threw things at the wall there. I just threw things at the wall. Let's see if it works. I just want one Delibird win. Or even just one Delibird KO, you know? Maybe I'll just click present and forfeit. Maybe that's what I'm going to do here. Let's turn on the timer. I haven't faced sand in a long time. At least dedicated sand. I mean, yeah, this this is just like dedicated sand. That's interesting. All right. Um. So. Hmm. Difficult lead for me. I'm gonna say I can go Rillaboom here, and I really want to get rid of you. So I'll go for Surging Strikes. The Dynamax. A Volt Switch on me. They would have to have doubled to KO me. I really hope they didn't. I really hope they didn't double. They did not. Uh, I think I KO this guy then. One. Oh, I do not. I need to be able to get an Aqua Jet off. Or he's probably within Grassy Glide range. Sand goes before that. Um, get in the Clefairy. And I always Grassy Glide. I can't win with Deli Bird. <laughs> why did I why did I decide to bring this stupid move? Why did I bring this stupid move? Alright. Um You know, maybe I can This is such a bad such a bad team. Let me grassy glide and go for the follow me. If he goes for rock slide, I've already lost my Rillaboom. <laughs> I've lost my Rillaboom. Alright. How do I do this? How do I how do I even win this? Um, <laughs> you go for the max airstream into you. Hope that you whiff a rock slide. Follow me. That's really it. You have to whiff a rock slide. I've lost. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that we cannot win with Delibird today, but we got a couple of decent colossal games. That's Christmassy enough, I, I suppose. Uh, yeah, Delibird is bad. Threw this team together in a couple of minutes. Did not work out. Should have ran a fighting move over present, but I couldn't help it. I am just too festive. <laughs> have a nice night, guys. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.